welcome to the Four Listeners Program. Welcome aboard, everybody. Happy New Year. Thanks for checking us out. On the mics this week, we have my man, your man, the Z-Man. What is up, Z? In the year 2000. In the year 2000. In the year 2000. Nice. That's a good job. Uh, On the other mic, we have the illustrious Corey G. What's up, buddy? There's nothing happy about this new year, by the way. Yeah, yeah. My condolences on the uh, thanks on the the, the hookies lost. Did you there. did you see it? I I only saw the uh, the the highlights. Um, did you did you see the overturned call? I I did, I did. It was it was um it was bullshit. Thank you. It was bullshit. Thank you. That makes me feel a little bit better. All right. For for those of us who have no fucking clue what you're talking about, you wanna the um. It was the uh, Virginia Tech Hokies played the Michigan Wolverines in the uh, in the Sugar Bowl the other call day. On the call on the field was a touchdown, and inexplicably was reversed without indisputable video evidence. Hmm. Very angry and depressed. As you should be, sir. Thanks. Uh, uh, big shout out to our boy Q, uh, taking down the first annual four listeners fantasy football league. Nice job, Q. The yeah, check thanks is in for, the mail. Thanks for beating that Fars Croc dick. <laughs> yeah, that guy. <laughs> that guy pretty much commanded first place for the entire season. He just cleaned house. Yeah. It's like the the Patriots in their was it eighteen and no season. Yep. Yeah, the fucking Giants eight, uh, oh eight season. Yeah, right? but Q Q was the uh, the the oh seven New York Giants. It's a hell of a good job by you, big guy. So uh, some uh, what I think we said that the check is in the mail. And is, did we send him some swag? I didn't send him any swag. I just sent him money. Right, I figured that was... I'll have to send him the swag because uh, yeah. I, I think I have some. Yeah, nobody wants a swag. Oh, Q will, Q, Q will, Q will, Q will love swag. it. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll dig it. He'll dig it. Is he cheap? No. <laughs> like, would he wear the shirt to work because he doesn't have a new shirt? No, he wears his shirt to work because he likes to show. Oh. Oh, it's I, like, I can't even believe that. Why would yeah, anybody that's just do outside that? the realm of possibility that I can conceive of. <laughs> Uh, okay, this this week, something must be done about lame-ass technology in the year 2012. So here we are at the dawn of a new year, and where the fuck is my flying car? Seriously. I agree. Right, Ganshorn? Yeah, absolutely. Or at least I self-driving car. Agree. At least self-driving. Yeah. Why do I still have to drive? Yeah. What the fuck? Where's my flying car? Where's all the shit that I was promised? Where's the, uh... Where's... Space travel? Yeah. Where's the moon base? Fuck the moon base. What about the Mars base? <laughs> I've been planning yeah. that shit, too. Zero By now, there should be a McDonald's on. on the moon. Fucking Jesus. Pleasure oh. bots? Where's my pleasure bot? Yeah. Where's my Where's my domestic robot servant running around taking care of business? I mean, this is this is stuff that the Jetsons had. They actually kind of sell pleasure bots. They're called real dolls. Yeah, but that's like a 150 or 200 pound rubber doll. I want I want the shit to be like autonomous. Uh, that, wouldn't you be afraid it would kill you? Well, if, if it follows Asimov's rules, it won't. Well, look at how buggy our shit is now. You think they're going to get Asimov's rules right? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> they'll get enough QA testing. How would you like to have to QA test the pleasure bot? <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> What's your job? <laughs> I fuck robots. <laughs> be like the early days of uh, test pilots, just dying left and right. <laughs> I'm into auto their, auto asphyxiation, getting... and the robot just wouldn't stop. You know? Guys getting their dicks ripped off. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Anus is getting prolapsed, and ripped out. Oh my God. What happens if like the self luber doesn't work? Yeah, there's all sorts of... Or you forget to fill it up like a chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. So many, sure so you many ma- horrific things. got to make sure you maintain your uh, your pleasure pot up to factory yeah. uh, standards. I would not want one of those now. I'm just saying I'd be a little afraid every time. But maybe that fear will, you know... Make it better. turn into eroticism. Not for yeah. nothing, but a real, a real uh, pleasure person would potentially capable of doing the same horrific things no because you could do you could do very 
you know, disturbing things to the pleasure bot that I wouldn't be w- afraid to look it in the eye afterwards. <laughs> what, what kinds of things are you talking about here, Squirrel? Just, hor- just horrible, horrible, <laughs> disgusting things. <laughs> okay, I don't even know. I, what, what, else are, what else are we missing? I mean, you've seen the videos people do to each other on the internet. Okay, all right. <laughs> let's, let's move on. <laughs> what, what else? What, what other? What other things are we missing at this point? The the flying car is is probably the best example for me. Like yeah. What... See, I I mean yes and no because there are so many bad drivers out there that the last thing I would want is you know sleep in my house and then have a flying car just come <laughs> smashing through the roof. True. Very true. And that gives a whole new meaning to to drunk uh, drunk drivers at that point. So. <laughs> I'm missing that. I think the thing I'm missing most is space travel. Well, the problem the problem with space travel is being able to travel someplace in particular, right? Like, why isn't there why isn't there a McDonald's set up on the moon by now? Do you know how much it would cost for a Happy Meal on <laughs> Moon McDonald's? Wait, hold on. You're worried about how much the the Happy Meal would cost when you have to get to the moon first. Well, I'm assuming it would be cheap enough for me to be able to do. I'm talking, you know, space travel like people do cruise ships, cruise trips. So what about the guy, uh, Sir Richard Branson, the guy who owns Virgin Airlines or Virgin whatever the fuck? Wasn't he supposed to get some sort of... um... Well, yeah, I think he's actually selling flights or booking flights now at 200000 a pop, but that's just into space. That's not like to the moon or Mars or Jupiter or anything. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to leave the atmosphere. Right, and yep. then and then come back to Earth. Yep. You see his, you see his, uh, his ships. They're they're looking pretty sweet. Well, it's like Spaceship One, Spaceship Two, those those types of things. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, but they got like big old windows, and they got, you know, it's nice and cushy. Yeah. See, I'd be a little leery. See, I want this stuff perfected. Like, I'd want to be able to go out into my garage and blast off into outer space. Be like, honey, my team lost. I'm pissed off. I'm going for a flight around the sun. <laughs> be back in three days <laughs> and then I'm just up in space flying around you know psh- and then I come back <laughs> alright so so instead of just going out for a drive around the block to blow off yeah. steam you would drive around the sun yeah okay <laughs> yeah I'd try and go really fast backwards around the sun go back in time and be like don't call that play <laughs> You do the like the Superman thing and and spin around that spin the Earth around the other way to reverse time. Yeah. Nice. Well, didn't he didn't he just fly around backwards? Well, yeah. Well, you're not Superman, bro. Well, I would have a spaceship that's probably faster than Superman. So. Oh, all right. Okay. Well, give, you can go ahead and give that a whirl. Well, I would as soon as I get my spaceship. Right on. What about you, Z? What, what would you uh, what would you want? What what do you want? What that that you haven't gotten? Besides sex pot, <laughs> just thinking like I don't know. Just I think medically, we're, there's a lot of shit that we're expecting that just haven't happened, like uh, the Gattaca stuff. Gattaca, so like the uh, the uh, perfect, just being able to like get rid of all stupid genes, genetic enhancement. Yeah, yeah. So you mean like being able to get a bigger dick? Well, yeah, be almost like essentially, it's like rolling a. Uh, Rolling out your character traits in, in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Keep rolling until you get 18s. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I could get behind that. Uh, I, I, I want my flying car. I'm sorry. I, I, I mean, I, I want the flying car. I want the... Or, or to go back to, uh, to what Z was saying, the, the self-driving car. Because I'm like the long... I, like, I, I have driven from here to New York, I can't tell you how many times. And I can... Instead I can, of taking the self-driving car known as a train? The problem with the train is that it just... It drops you off at predefined stations rather than going exactly to where I want it to go. Dude, where the fuck's are transporters? That's... Fuck the self-driving cars. We need transporters. Like the Star, you know, the Star Trek No, thing. civilization would fall apart. You know how many people be murdered... If transporters existed. Why do you say that? You're telling me you wouldn't transport into some country, murder somebody, transport out, but with I, no hope of ever being caught? Well, there has to be some sort of audit trail for how you get in and out of a transporter. Yeah. 
it's not like I'm going to have a transporter in my house that I can control. Well, so where? So what's your what's your vision of transporters? Like I'd go to a transport station, and you just it'd be just like a train station. So you you drive there, and then you'd wait in line and go through security. Maybe you uh, maybe you can tell them to maybe you have to just, you your phone will pick up delivery time. I don't know. Like you push a button and says, "Hey guys, I'm ready," and they get you from your house and then send you on your way. Yeah. We could do it the Harry Potter way and just have uh, the flus. The flu network, absolutely. There you go. I am not familiar with that. So what what Zeth is alluding to is in in Harry Potter you ha- you have the ability to put to to throw something in a fireplace, say where you want it to go, and it would dump you out at the predetermined place. So if, even if you had a transporter in your house, it would only it would only take you to another transporter location. Huh. I mean, you gotta have a place that's gonna have the capabilities of reconstructing your molecular code, right? And yeah. You gotta have like a, a printer. It's essentially, it's gonna be a printer, molecular printer. Right. Unlike Star Trek, where they just beam you from wherever to wherever. Right. It's just, I never really remembered how that was supposed to technically work. I'm sure they had a good reason of how it worked, but I'm sure they didn't. But whatever, <laughs> you know. But I, but I agree. I agree with. I agree with Z. I think there's. A, I think you have to like. You step onto. You step into a transporter thingy, and then it transports you to another transporter thingy, like the fly. Only without the the mess of the genetic get, genetic code getting fucked up with a fly and then turning you into some horrific mutation. Unless, of course, that's what you want. So that would be interesting too, then, right? I mean, the the whole Gattaca thing, the the whole genetic modification. You know, would you would you want to would you want to enhance yourself with, say, I don't know, some other some other DNA, like bird wings? Yeah, maybe. Like maybe you cross yourself with eagle DNA or some shit like that. You know. I believe I can fly. Okay. But, or what about like the uh, the X Men type of mutations? Would you want to get to the point where you could you could take like? Did you ever see Gremlins two? Unfortunately, I think I did. Yeah, so Gre- Gremlins two they they had um, it was like Christopher Lee, who was in a lab, coming up with these uh, these like potions that you would drink and then you would just like genetically modify yourself, like you could turn yourself into electricity or some shit like that. Like, would you would you want something like that? Somebody gives you a potion and says, "Okay, drink this, and you'll have the ability to like regenerate, you know, like healing healing properties, like a Wolverine type of deal." I mean, all get all that shit, get all the uh, uh, like the X Men powers, X Men, all the X Men shit, yeah. So, if you could pick one X Men power, what would it be? X ray vision. Okay. Mind control. I go Magneto. Magneto. That's mean, magnetism. That's not. Magnetism. Or not magnetism. You want, you want Professor X. Professor X. Yeah, yeah I, that's 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 what I would go for. I would go for the Jedi mind trick. These are not the droids you're looking yeah, for. Yeah, I would I would absolutely go for the Jedi mind trick. That 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 would be what I want. Well, that's just too direct. Of course, I would do that because then I wouldn't need my X-ray vision. Well, right. You just tell the bitch to fucking just come over here and suck your dick. See, there you go. Yeah. This is the penis you are looking for. See, it's much easier that way. Yeah. All right, so flying car or transporter? Transporter. Transporter or space travel? Space travel. Transporter, because you can just transport into space. Assuming that there is a, a suitable transporter location somewhere on the moon or something along those lines. Sure. Okay. Um, transporter or lightsaber? Ooh. Transporter. Corey? Lightsaber. Lightsaber. Now that's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. All right, lightsaber or Jedi mind trick? Jedi mind trick. That's a tough one. Right, have lightsabers been invented? Lightsaber. Let's let's assume lightsabers are invented because because that's something that's something that I would get behind. Where's my lightsaber? Where's that technology? Well, I would use Jedi mind trick to make you give me your lightsaber. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> where, where the fuck's my lightsaber? Right? Where's that shit at? They had that shit in 1977. Where the fuck's my lightsaber, yo? Yeah, all this cool stuff. Where's my ray gun, you know? Where's the where's the laser gun? You know? Mm-hmm. Like Star Trek, Star Wars, Battlestar Galactica, they all had this shit, you know? I'll tell you I'll tell you what we are going to get though. We we are going to get 
uh, the whole Star Trek talk to the computer and the computer does shit. We already yeah, have it's, it. Yeah, it's Siri, essentially. Yeah, it's Siri. We already have it. Yeah. Right, we are we are going to get that. It's not not that exciting, though, but yeah. But, but it's the first it's the first step to, to somebody going, computer, do something. And then it goes, and then just goes off and does it, right? The other the other thing we're going to get is the um, the Minority Report business, where, you know, where he's just kind of waving his arms around and shit's just happening on kind of like a translucent screen. We're going to get that. That's coming. The um, the whole the whole bit about that is going to be the whole um, the beginning of that is the Microsoft Connect. My whole my whole read on it is that I think the the Connect is the the potential for the Connect is enormous. You will be able to do so much with it. Like just just picture just picture you you standing in front of a uh, standing in front of a room of people giving a presentation or something like that, and using gestures to change how things are 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 appearing on your PowerPoint presentation. Like you want, like you know, like slide transitions, graphs kind of moving. I mean, it could it 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 could add a whole other dimension to how you present information to people. As opposed to pushing the little button that advances the slide to the next one. There's there's a there's a dramatic flair to using your arms to to kind of raise something up or something along those lines. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. You you don't you don't see the uh, you don't see the the potential in in say like all right so imagine imagine now you're 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 interfacing with your computer and you wanted to zoom in on something so you kind of do the same kind of pinch maneuver that you would use on your iPhone or your Android where you just kind of collapse your hands where you expand your hands and things zoom in. Yeah, but you never want to do that so, in a live presentation. You want to have that shit all pre-rendered. No, no, I'm saying forget, it, forget, about, forget about the presentation. I'm talking about just interfacing with your computer. Where you want to, you want to minimize a window, you just kind of swipe it down. That's yeah. too much work. It's too much yeah, work. Yeah, I seriously too don't think work. that's the right. It's that, that's going to happen. I just, it, it's the mouse interface is so much better. the The only way they're going to get better is going to be either neural implants, where the computer just can sense what I'm thinking. <laughs> Yeah, I which wholeheartedly be, agree with that. Which, which would be much cooler, or uh, or the voice commands. Uh, the, otherwise, the the mouse is is fucking solid. So does that mean you're you are you going are you going the cyborg route? That insta- yeah, I, I think that's the best the next the next way to go. The neural implants. Yeah. So forget about genetic enhancement, right? We're just going to go straight to cybernetic enhancement. Well, you, I think you need both. I think it's a two prong approach. Because like, if your host can't support the hardware, then it's not going to do any good. Like. If your, if your body can't deal with it, you know you still need you still need a physical host to to, to walk around with it. Do you know who can deal with a two pronged approach? God damn it! We were doing so good. So we're doing so well. <laughs> we're doing so well. What the fuck? I didn't. Know. I'm just asking. Do you know? <laughs> I think we all fucking know, Corey. I don't know, well, Corey. Tell me. I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, that was the last one. I won't do another yeah, one. Fuck you. Fuck your mom. What was the first one? First one of 2012. Good job, Gantorn. Thanks. Good job. It's the last one of 2012 also. Are, are you serious? Yeah. You're not serious. You're not retiring the mom jokes. You're not. I don't believe you. Yep. I don't believe you. Well, I am. All right, we'll see. <laughs> Tune in next week to see whether or not Gantorn keeps his promise. This is one of those New Year's resolutions, Gantorn, that I think you're going to break. Probably. That's what I thought. Uh, so so what did we learn? Don't be a beta tester if somebody wants you to put your dick in a mechanical device. Good call. Gantorn. Um, don't fly in cars. Don't fly. Don't, don't drink and fly. Well, um, no, just don't fly in general. Okay. I learned that Gantorn um, is going to break his promise to me. I'm... You did not learn that. How can you learn that? I said I wouldn't. You can't learn that until a later episode. I am. I am looking into the future, man. Well, now you know what. Now you just made it personal. Okay. I hope I did. So, if you have uh, if you have any uh, interesting technology that you think we're missing, or something that. You think we we should have, and, and we can get in short order. Why don't you go ahead and post it on the Facebook page, facebookcom listeners or 4listeners.com. Check us out on iTunes. 
always free, always there week to week. Set your subscriptions. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your neighbors. We thank you for checking us out this week, and we hope that you will check us out again next week. Thanks a bunch, everybody.